Marcia. Welcome back to another art workshop. I usually have my granddaughter Emma helping me, but she's away at college and will be home in December to help me with December's artist. Now today, instead of honoring just a single artist, I'm honoring a group of people and their name are the Native Americans. And the reason I chose to honor them for this month is because Thanksgiving is coming, celebrated on the fourth Thursday in November. And Thanksgiving is a time um, that we recognize the celebration of the settlers in the United States and the Native Americans both getting together to have a historic feast. So for my Native American crafts, I chose two of them, although there are many, many Native American crafts including totem poles, weaving, jewelry, etc. But for us today, we're gonna to make a Zuni bear. And here he is right now, here he or she is right now. And we're also gonna make a Native American eagle. Now the bear was a very important symbol to the Native Americans. They saw it as a, a symbol of strength and they really worshiped the bear. Supposedly, the white bears were the ones that they worshiped the most, but for today, we're just gonna make a Zuni bear using whatever colors you'd like to use. I chose turquoise, because I always feel like turquoise is sort of Native American-ish. And um, what I did was, first I drew the Zuni bear, and he's basically just got a nice round back and two legs. You can see there's sort of a half a circle under here for his two legs and he has this smaller head over here. And I like to always, after I make my things, put them on something sturdy like cardboard, something that will really hold them so they don't wobble all over the place. So what I did was I made the Zuni bear and the more important thing I made on the Zuni bear was the lifeline. And what the Native Americans thought that represented was strength from their brain to their heart. So it was a very important thing for them. And here, so I cut out my Zuni bear, I put him on a piece of cardboard, I drew the lifeline, and then to decorate him a little bit, I put on some feathers, because the feather symbol is another very important thing to the Native Americans. It represents trust, honor, wisdom, and strength. And you see feathers in a lot of Native American projects. I also put on two bear paws, and that's just to further represent strength. And the way I made those, and this might be a little hard to see, I just drew them on a piece of paper and then went over them with black Sharpie and attached them on either side of the bear. So I have the bear, the feathers, and the bear prints. And what I did to hang it up is I punched two holes on the top of the cardboard put a piece of string through, and that way my Zuni bear could be uh, displayed. Another interesting thing about the Zuni bear is that Native Americans thought that if they put a little bit of cornmeal near the bear's nose when they left their house, their house would be protected. So they had a lot of um, interesting folklore, superstitions, and different things like that. The next project I made is a Native American eagle. And just like we revere our eagles, they felt that the eagle was a symbol of strength. Uh, they also thought that the eagle was considered to be a carrier of prayers. Um, and many Native Americans admired the, uh, the eagle for its bravery. Now to make the eagle, and you can make your eagle as uh, small as you want, as thin as you want, what it is basically is just a shape, it almost looks like an airplane. It's got the head, it's got the wings, and that's sort of one sleek line. And then it has uh, the, the wings over here. And when you open it up, you can see the wingspan, you can see the width of the body, and you can adjust that. An easy way to make an eagle is to take a piece of paper, fold it in half, Trace your eagle, and make an eagle first, and trace it on this, so that when you cut it out and open it up, it will be symmetrical. The wings will be the same width, and the body will be the same on both sides. And I decorated my eagle with some um, Native American motif. 
I used some triangles that, that represent some of the dwellings that they lived in. I used some lines like this that represent thunder. Some of the lines represented feathers. And after I glued the eagle onto a second um, piece of paper, I drew the, the talon, the, um, the nose part. I gave the eagle an eye. I added some feathers because we want to reiterate that feathers were so important to the Native Americans that they show up on almost all their crafts. I also did a little weaving on the top with my string. I punched a few holes on the top of the cardboard and wove my um, string through them and then punched more holes so I could have a hanger again to display my craft. So just to summarize, the two crafts that we did were the Zuni bear and the Native American eagle. And I urge you to go on different websites, you know, have an adult help you and see some of the other crafts that they did, some of the colors that they used, and uh, they're really very fascinating crafts, very interesting, a little bit different um, than we usually see around here. And I hope that you'll have fun making the bear and the eagle. Now, I'm gonna bring packets of this to the library. The packet has some feathers, some string, and some beads in it, so that if you need these to make your project, you can get in touch with the library and see when you can pick these up. I'll bring them to the library um, tomorrow, which is Monday, so that you can pick your packet up and then you'll have all the supplies you'll need for your bear. The other things that you need are things that we've always uh, used before, glue, hole puncher, scissors. I like to always use a Sharpie um, when I'm doing these things so I can really see the lines that I've traced and cut them out pretty accurately cardboard if you have it again for the background and um, enjoy them just enjoy the craft so I'll be back next month in December featuring just a single artist and um, but for now enjoy November enjoy your Thanksgiving and enjoy making your craft take care and stay well bye now